da da Saba. Okay. So it's interesting to know. We'll we'll find out today. I, I dive in a minute at the marble scenes every Shabbos. You know, Friday night and Saturday night they have a Seder there, whatever. But there's in front. There's a big tablet, like on a table in the front, a tablet of Amud Beis of today's of yesterday's daf of Samach Amud Beis. So let's see what's going what's going on over there. It's like a square tablet over there. Tablet. Yeah, it's like a. It's almost like a like a like a screen like a picture of the last blast of Amud Beis, and it's like a like a square. It's like a, a little frame. It's like a piece of like a stone, whatever. We'll see why. We'll see why it's there. Uh, Rabbi, uh, he got to the mission. Is that right? mm -hmm. so you tell me, Rabbi Reese. Okay, Rabbi Reese for, for doing yesterday. Jack, you got the place? Well. When you get your pants on. I have to pull up my holster. Yeah, pull up your holster. All right, Zelik the mission. The mission says, Lo yiftach adam l'chatser ashutvin pesach can I get a pesach? Is it samach? Samach. Yeah, uh, yeah, there's a Mishnah oh. first wide line. So it says, the person should not go ahead in a chatzar own with uh, others, a opening uh, facing somebody else's opening of a chalun connected chalun or window facing another window, and how you caught it. Let's say his window or his door was uh, small, you should, should make it uh, uh, larger. If it was one, you should make two. But he could open up the Shusarab, even if he's Pesach, Pesach, Cholon, even if he's facing. With the, let's say there's just a rabbi in the middle, somebody else's door across the Rishus rabbi, or their window, he can do that. And Hayek Katar, I say, Gadol, and if it was small, facing the Rishus rabbi, even if it was facing someone else's house on the other side of Rishus rabbi, if it was small, he can make a larger, and if it was one, he can make multiple. What's going on here? Let's see the Gemara. So, Zuck the Gemara. First of all, why it's so, what's so bad about facing others? So, Menani, Mili, Amr, Abyech, and Amr, the Pasuk says, Vaisa, Bilam, Asaino, Vayaris, Lisel, Shaykh, and Shvatov. And uh, 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 Bilam raised his eyes and he saw, right, uh, 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 Israel, but Israel, the, you know, the way they lived. So, Mara, so, Ra, Shein, Peace, Chay, Olay, and Mechavim, Zel, Zel. So, he saw that their, their, their entrances were not facing one another. And Amar, Rain Hallu, Shatish, Alem, Shrina, right? It's fit for them to go ahead and have the Shrina be upon them, i.e. they're very tznua, they wouldn't look into other people's uh, tents, and therefore, that's why we see that the Mishnah one should not go ahead and open a door facing someone else's doorway or a window facing their window. And haya katalai said, gadol, so sovereign rechad alamei mar bar dalad lo yisho bar timna. Now, what do we talk? What does it mean making larger? So let's say the entrance is larger. So we, as we learned earlier in the in the daf, let's say people are going to go ahead and, and split their chatzar, right? And so there was a shayla. Uh, does it go by houses? Does it go by doorways? Does how does it work by? So we said in the end, ultimately you get all the space outside your door, wow. but a minimum of dollar amos. So if it was eight amos, you would get eight amos outside. If it was dollar amos, you get dollar amos outside. If it was two amos, you still get dollar amos. So you get dollar amos per entrance. So what does it mean? So Ragnar have a thought to say in a mishnah. If it was small, you shouldn't make it big. In other words, if it was an entrance of four, then you shouldn't make it eight. Why? Because Because then you'd be ultimately, if they divided, it would be taking eight uh, amos in the chatzir. But let's say it was only two. You can go maybe you can go ahead and extend the entrance, make it larger to be four amos. Because because you're still only taking four and four. It's no big, it's no difference. Similarly, rough and no. So, uh, so, so he says, no, no. Maybe he says, for a small entrance, I was able to go ahead and hide myself from you. So you're not seeing, you know, what I'm doing. However, However a larger one damages me because I won't be able to hide from you as well. And therefore, he disagreed with, uh, uh, with that. If it was two, you can go to four. No, he says, you can't even do that because, once again, you, uh, um, um, you, uh, what's it called? What's the word? Um, uh, gay, you encroach yeah. upon the privacy of your neighbor, and that's that's, that's the doorway specifically. That was the doorway. Because you have the dal almost right. But Correct. It's a man of opening right. the so, yeah. so now after. Once again, go ahead and let's say make one into two. Even if it's one is four, make it into two separate entrances of, of, of two each, right? Because tarti tarti, the kosh shakal tina bechatsa, because then you basically each two uh, 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 would be able to take uh, four. Safa, but if it was bar timi, but let's say it was eight, so bar bnei arba bar shabidami. But if it was eight, you can go ahead and make it, perhaps make it into four and four because you'd be staying the same amount of the chatzos. So I'm like, no, 
Once again, Matzir Malay. Bechad, Pisco, Matzina, Asfuniminach. With one entrance, I was able to go ahead and hide you. However, betray, let me see this. But uh, you have two entrances, that's a little. Which one you're that, right. Uh, that's, that's, you know, it's uh, more nerve wracking for me. About but then we said at the end of the mission, you can go ahead and open up Lushus a Rabbin, Pesach, and Pesach. You can face someone else's uh, opening or window facing their windows. Why is that? The same self. All boys, it's new. You've been able to rob. You got to you got to worry about the Rishus Rabbi. You don't got to worry about me looking across the way. There's constantly there's always people. Could be in the middle of the night or in the early the morning. People are just robbing. Therefore, my entrance facing you or my window facing you is not causing any damage because you already have to be uh, 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 wary of passerbys. Fine. Nine mission. Next mission says. You can't go ahead and make a, uh, a dig underneath the Shusarabim. I've seen this earlier because of pits, uh, cisterns, or, or water holes at Rabbi Ezer. If you have a wagon carrying stones and that, and, and then let's say you dig underneath and the ground is strong enough to go ahead and hold a wagon carrying stones, then we're not worried. And Ain might see the You can't go ahead and stick out uh, beams that protrude into the Shusarabim. So let's say my house goes up into onto the lot line of the Shusarabim. And then I have, let's say, beams uh, extend that to hang things on. So I want to hang something, even though it's a Shusarabim. I want to hang things there, hang my. Uh, my my uh, my Romanian salami. I want to hang it out there. You can't do it because you know when when passerbys people on donkeys and, and, and camels they pass by, they're gonna knock their heads. So you can't have anything sticking out protruding into the shudarabim. Eli Mrotza, kainesis shalo umoisi. So let's say you need to stick out four feet. Here's what you do: don't, don't build your house to the lot line. Build your house within four feet of the lot line, and then you have it sticking out towards which is Rabbim. But then you go, uh, then you can go ahead and, and, and mm -hmm. might see and take out your beeps. However, let's say he went ahead and he bought a house, and there was already beams uh, uh, currently exi uh, uh, existing beams sticking out of the Rabbim. So we assume that the person did it before with permission, i.e., maybe he donated the Rosh Hashanah land and just kept his beams there or whatever it was. So therefore, since this person doesn't have proof, we don't all of a, spot, uh, all of a sudden say, hey, you know how to do it. Rather, we say, this is remaining in its chazah. So Zuck, the Gemara, the morning, Eddie, we just stopped, we just started the uh, the, the mission of Baal Samach and Malaf. Where is the mission? Samach and Malaf, just yesterday's half. Second, second tomorrow. Yeah, uh, maybe uh, it's seven lines for the bottom. So you say, I, so the Rabbanon said, you're not allowed to go ahead and dig anything underneath. Yeah, you can't do anything. And Rabbi says, as long as it's strong enough, I, the Rabbanon, why can't you do it if it's strong enough? So perhaps it's going to go ahead and erode, has become a wormy, and therefore, uh, you know, about ultimate collapse. So therefore, just don't start because you won't notice. Good. Yeah, exactly. Good yeah, I could at some that. point it's not yeah. going to be good. And it might seem easy because of the chulei, so he said it can't go ahead and extend it into the Rosh Hashanah. Uh, your beam. So Rabbi Ami nothing So Rabbi Ami had from his house he had a beam extending into the mavut. And also there was somebody else who had some uh, his beams going into the Rosh Hashanah. And also the comment of Yami, I guess people complained and they said, hey, his beam is sticking out. It's getting in the way of the camel drivers. So, Malay, so he said, if that's the case, zeal kites, go ahead, Mr. Haugabra, right, uh, Mr. Uh, John Doe, and please, uh, you know, remove your beams from the airspace. Let's just rob him. So, Malay, he said, he turned to Rabbi Ami, I, Bahamar, Nami, he said, but you also have uh, beams. Uh, you know, you got to check yourself before you wreck yourself, as the, the youth used to say, right? You know, words, you have that issue. Why are you telling me? So he says, DD, when it comes to me, it says, Rabbi Ami, my beams that extended to a mobile, the mobile, Bafi, Bene Mavi, Machali, Gabay, my going to Mavi. So there's a certain amount of people who share the Mavi. So I go, whoever owns this alleyway, and I got everyone to sign off. Everyone agreed. Everyone was Michael. However, did but your beams don't go to Mavi. They go in Lucius Rabin, Mavi. So my Machal, Gabay, who's going to be the one that's able to go ahead and be Michael? Nobody. So therefore, since you can't have anybody be Michael, you have to go ahead and remove it. In similar case, Rabbi Yanai, Havile, Elan, Hanoito, Shusarabim. Rabbi Yanai himself had a tree that extended to Shusarabim. Uh, Havi. And how Gavro, the Havile, Nami, Elan, Hanoito, Shusarabim. 
So there's also somebody else who had a tree standing in the So also Bnei Rosh Hashanah, the people of Rosh Hashanah are complaining that his tree was going in. Now coming out, fellow. They were complaining about this other guy. So also the command of Rabbi came for Rabbi Anai. So what happened in this case? Summer lay zeal. Zeal, you know, do me a favor. Go home. Come back to me tomorrow to, to, to base it. I know today is a, a Monday. Come back tomorrow and we'll discuss your tree in the Shazarab. So what did he do that night? Why why did he delay? And what did he do? Belial that night, Shadar Katsya, uh uh Di Day. So what do you do? He sent the gardeners to go ahead and cut down his Rabbi uh, Rabbiana, I think. Right? Is that what it was? Uh, Rabbiana he sent someone to cut down his own tree. Go ahead, cut down his own. So the next day, uh, so the guy came for him. So he says, okay, Mr. Man, the, the uh, people are complaining about your tree. They're just robbing. Please go ahead and cut yours down. So he turns in with chutz. He says, Well, what about you? You also have. So Zilchaz, you go ahead and check. E if mine are cut down, then you'll cut yours down. And Eloi Kaisid, if mine are not cut down, then Eloi Tiko, then you don't have to go ahead and cut yours down. So obviously the guy went ahead and checked, and Rabbianis was cut down, so therefore he had to cut us down. So Gloria wants to know, may cut my suburb, the safe my suburb. Understand why in the beginning the Rabbianis feel it was okay, but only now it was not okay. So Meikar in the beginning, seven Echalula Bnei Rosh Hashanah and the Yasi Betule. So in the beginning, he thought, you know, it'd be nice to Shuzer Rabin. You have my trees extend there. You get some nice shade, so people can go ahead and sit under the shade. However, came in the Chaz of the Kamakri. But once I saw that people were complaining, then Shuzer cuts it. Then I sent uh, people to go ahead and cut it down. So I think one says, "Vele Mele Zil Kites Did Chav Yehader Akad Did Di." So why don't you just say, tell the guy? Go cut yours down. And he says, you also have yours. He says, you're right. I should cut mine down too. Why do you have to do his first before we do the other one? Because that was uh, taught. The Omar, the, the Pasuk says, the uh, famous Pasuk in Svanya, he's Kaishu the Kaishu. And over there is referring to the straw, cutting the straw. So it says, Kaishu the Asmacha, the Pshad of the Pasuk is over there, cut your straw, and then you cut the straw of the others. So in other words, you see, if you have an issue and someone else has an issue, make sure you take care of yours first, right, before you start uh, worrying about others. So therefore, right, it's the Pasuk that he wants to take care of his first before the others. <laughs> so now, so imagine someone's house that goes up to the property line, and on the other side of the property line is the Shisarab. So he said, if his house goes up there, he can't have a beam extend. You want to have an extension of a beam, mm-hmm. move your house a little, you know, a little farther away, and then extend up until the space of the Shisarab. So he put a, a question was asked. So does the beam come oh. out then? No, no, but up, up to his property line. So in other words, if his house was, if this is the Shusarabin right here, yeah. and this is his house, and he wants to have a beam stick out, so do yourself a favor, move the house backwards, and now you can have the beam sticking out, but it doesn't uh, no. go into the airspace of the Shusarabin. So let's say, Mahu. So let's say the guy builds his house back. He moves his house, let's say, 10 feet off the Shusarabin, he moves it back. And he doesn't stick out a beam. Can he go back and build, put a beam there? Even though it's not going to go into the airspace of the Shusarabim, in the, te- in the, in the 10 uh, feet that uh, are towards the Shusarabim. And Rabbi Yechidah Marconas might see. So he says, uh, he wants to, he's allowed to go ahead and do it since he brought his house back. It's over his property line. Mm-hmm. No, you can't go ahead and stick it out. You do it if you didn't do it in the beginning. So I'm going to Rabbi Yechidah Rabbi Yechidah Rabbi Yechidah Rabbi he says, Rabbi Yechidah let me explain to you what's going on there. So, kanas, uh, uh, excuse me, as uh, berlocha, the heights see when it goes to go ahead and extend it, kuliamalei pligi, the might see. Everyone agrees if you move your house in, you can go ahead and extend it up to the lot line because that's that's your property, and therefore you didn't lose the right to go ahead and do it. So, keep pligi. What's this machlekes between Rabbi Yechanan and Reish Lakish? Keep pligi. Lahaksik salim kaima, right? You actually let's say the guy had it for ten years. He brought it back because he wanted to be. Beam or he didn't want the beam, and now he wants to bring his house back, build it back out ten feet to the property line. Is he allowed to go ahead and do that? That's the machlokes. Vivcha is actually opposite of the way you quoted before in terms of who was machmer and who was mekel. So Vivcha itmar Rabbi Yechon Amar Eni Mach. So Rabbi Yechon says one says you can't go ahead and build the wall back to where it was. Reishlaka Shomer Machzir and Reishlaka says you could. Why is that? Rabbi Yechon Amar Eni Mach. So Rabbi Yechon says you can't go ahead and bring it back. Why? Because Rabbi Yehuda, because that was Rabbi Yehuda taught. Then Rabbi Huda, Rabbi, also the calculo. Once you have a path that was 
uh, uh, now used by the rabbin. You can't go ahead and take it back. So since, let's say, the the uh, the rabbin was 16 amos wide, and he added 10 feet to it, so now it's 16 amos plus uh, whatever it is, you know, uh, uh, now it's, you know, 22 apples, whatever it is, right? So now it's part of the Shusharabim. So you can't go ahead and take that back according to Rabbi Huda. In other words, he just ceded part of it. Right. Exactly. Because they used it as a wider road. It was like a passing lane. No, no, no. You could be master. It's when uh, Rabbi Huda said, Hani, Billy, Hecha, Deleka, Rafa. But there's not enough space. In other words, let's say there wasn't enough space, and it's because his land was there that people used his land. But there was no other land to do. But over here, there's plenty of space. There's 16 other hours for people to walk through. So therefore, even though people were using, the public was using your space, but even if you take that space away, there's still room for the public. So there's room for the public. You're allowed to go ahead and build it back to the to your lot line. The safe way is to move your house back and then build a fence around your property. Right. No the, and therefore, they won't... It, make their that, that, right. That, the, the rabbin will not make a kazak on that. Right. Correct. Lokach. So you see what happens when you try to be nice... You know, you guys can yeah, use it for that. Yeah. You give yeah, a bro, to take a yeah. Yeah. What's, what's the issue with a beam? Because you can't have the beam hanging over the Shusarabim. So, because uh, passerbys, people on camels, people on donkeys. So, therefore, if you, let's say, you want... Oh, it, 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 right. It, it interferes into the airspace, right? You can't in, it interject into the airspace of the... Um, of the Shusarabim. Why is he putting a beam there? Anyway? Well, he wants a beam to hang his... Uh, his uh, I said his... Romanian salami, he wants to hang it from or something outside of his laundry. All right, so he hangs it out on outside the house. So he has a beam that extends a little right. bit. Put a flower box even. Right. The flower box looks nice. And then... Right. Fine. Two dots. Uh, oh. But he bought a house that already extended to it. You must assume that the owner did it with permission, and therefore you're allowed to go ahead and keep it. So Amar Rav, no, no, no. Let's say the House, he wants to tear down the house. So can he go ahead and rebuild the house with a beam protruding into the Rishus Arabim? Or was it only like it was a grandfathered in? So you can go ahead and build it according to the Rafuna. However, a person can't go ahead and use plaster or uh, uh, or lime or or make paintings right during this bismanaze right. You can't go ahead and do these designs because of the churba right. Because we're supposed to be you know uh, 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 you know. Be my besimcha, and those are, are completely perfect. You can't make it completely perfect if there's no basis of mikdash. However, but if you buy a house that was already plastered, you know, perfectly, the white plaster or the lime or painted nicely, then you can keep it. It's grandfathered in. Not flub, but once it falls down, you can't go ahead uh, and uh, it can be and rebuild it. So I, over here, you can't go ahead and rebuild it. But over the other case, you want to say Rafuna. Was it Rafuna? Yeah, Rafuna wanted to say that you could rebuild the beam into the Shizarapa. So why in one case can you rebuild it? And why this case you cannot? So my answer is Isura Shan. When it comes to an Isur, over oh, there is the case of Isura. So over there it was uh was Isur. So therefore, um we we don't allow you to go ahead and do uh, and do it. However, over here, right, it's more of a, a mamanus case, and therefore someone could have a claim against it. So therefore, since we're not dealing with matters of Isurin, therefore. Perhaps it was, you know, he could get it grandfathered in also with the uh, with the new beam. Tanur Rabbanan, first wide line. A person should go ahead and, play, and, 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 and lime, you know, plaster with lime his house because it's very white and, and, and beautiful, but he mixes sand or straw in it, then it's mutter. Rabbi Yehuda Imer, Irev Bechol, no, no, if you put sand in it, Harezu Tarsid, that's actually this, this like, uh, combination called Tarsid, which is very, very uh, a fine. Uh, paint, even though it's not so white, but it's it's it is a beautiful finish. The also and therefore it's also to use. However, ten but if it was straw, then mutter. But then that would be mutter, right? So he he argues with Sam, but he agrees they can go ahead and mix in straw. Tanar Rabbanon Shachar of Habay is Bishnia. I when the second temple uh, was destroyed, Rabu Purushim Bishal. Many Purushim, many separators. Uh, you know, people who want to be polished from things to be, be holy. Uh, there were many of them existed amongst Bnei Yisrael. They didn't eat meat. They didn't drink wine. 
So on the top of that, Rabbi Shua, Rabbi Shua says, okay, you know what? I'm going to take care of this once and for all. They're now, they're, they're adding to it. So I'm going to let him beneath. Why are you guys eating meat? And why are you guys not drinking wine? So I'm they said to them, I understand you want us to eat meat. In the past, we would eat meat, and the, and the Mizbech would eat meat. But now, there is no Mizbech, right? The Mizbech doesn't get meat. So I should eat meat? That's not fair, right? I should drink wine. Right? We used to go ahead and bring wine libations, and now there's no wine. So how could we partake of wine if the Mizbech can't? So he says, oh, Rabbi Shul says, don't eat bread. Why? Because all the menachas are gone. My menachas, they used to offer the grains to them. He's back. So if they can't partake in the grains, you should partake in the grains. So they said, oh, Taka, you're right. Okay, we'll just have fruits. He says, oh, no, 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 no. And therefore, you can't go ahead and do it. So he said, okay, you're right. No more uh, those fruits. We can do other fruits that were not offered Bikurim from the non Shivaminim. But he says, uh, uh, you got a little water. He used to go ahead and, and the uh, water libations uh, and the Nisachamayim and Sukkis, they would do that. And uh, there's no more water from his back. So how could you have water if they don't? So Shashku, they, they, they were quiet. They, they, they realized, you know, they, they're, they're, their stars are wrong. Summer Lahan. So he said to them, Bini, Bo, Bamarlechem, let me go ahead and teach you guys something. Shalom, Yisab, Akolik, you're not to go ahead and mourn over the Mesa Mikdash at all. Yafshar, you can't. Shikfar, Nigzar, Gzera, right? Because there was already a decree made of a Beneso. Well, Yisab, El Yaisimidai, and to go ahead to mourn too much. Yafshar, you also cannot. Shein Gzera, Shein Gzera, Sibor. I think I read Sibor, Yichar Lababa, right? You can't go ahead and make a Gzera on the Sibor that everyone can't withstand. So you can't say, you know, no meat, no a wine because people won't listen to it. You see, the pasuk says, So it says over there that they uh, B'nai Israel was macabre. They're able to go ahead and say, you know what, we're going to be able to go ahead and drink uh, and, and separate trumas and maestros. So therefore, we'll, we'll curse on those who do not do it. So they part. They, so since they're able to go ahead and uh, 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 um, you know be able to give the trumas and maestros, so they made a curse. And despite that, some people still failed. They still did not give the Trumas of Isos, and they got a curse. But they see over there, they only had to wait till they accepted it because they were going to follow it. So it's over here, you can't have a Gzair unless people are going to accept it. Okay. Uh, I, yeah. At the beginning of this story, it says they were eating meat and drinking. No, they were not. They were not. They're Prushibi so Shalo, Shalo, right. You know, like the parsh was separate. Shalolah called Bathar, Shalolah Shtosiai. They they didn't drink. They didn't eat meat and they drank wine. So he says. So Rabbi Yeshua mm-hmm. says you can't answer Chazal. Chazal had certain decrees to mourn, but you're making yeah, new but things. His question is, Mahatem Oklin Bathar. No, he says. Uh, where is it? Rabbi Yeshua, so, uh, uh, Bnei Mipnei Maiyatem, Iyatem, Iyatem. Like you are not right. Why are you not eating? Right. And then the whole thing is off the Mizbech. We can't have meat. We can't have meat. So he says, okay, well, you know. So this is what the rule. So the other is based on the seed. You could go ahead and use You could go ahead and use plaster. However, leave over a small amount of non plaster areas. The Kama. And how much is that? I'm going to be able to say, and Amo and that. So it was Amo and and Ozzy, this is why yeah. in their house they had this tablet of this 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 Amud because mm-hmm. it was right by the the front door. Basically, it was the Churban, yeah. you know, where they had the, uh, the so this Gemara was there, you know, in front. So Zechel Churban, they also actually have one also over there, but over there, so it's like a, it's like a little shtick, right? So in other words, basically Zechel Churban, don't go ahead. Then we ready Chazal Misakin. Don't yes, you can't use plaster, oh, but leave over speed. You could use plaster, just leave over an ammo. Can I get a right by the uh, the front doorway. And once again, I saw them called The person go ahead and make a full feast. However, you leave out a little one. Mahi, what is that? Amara Papa, Kisa the hair is not it was like a, a fried fish. And Isa Isha called the Shikta. Woman can go ahead and, and make herself up. But leave out a little bit. So Mahi, what is that? Amara uh Samara Bas Sada, right? 
Um, that is basically by the by the temples. They the, the woman used to go ahead and remove the hair over there. So therefore, you know, don't go ahead and remove that hair. Shinamar as the says, So it says over there that if the chikim. So it says if I go ahead and forget uh, Yushalayim, right, the, the, mm-hmm. the, the, my right arm be uh, be forgotten, and my 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 my, my tongue uh, also mm-hmm. be frozen, stick to the roof of my mouth. You know, I won't be able to rejoice. See, what does it mean on the, on the, on the, on the, during my simcha? That is the, the, the ashes that go upon the head of the Kalsan. And that place of the Kalsan, and the place of the Tfilin, where the Tfilin is placed on top of the head. And the Pazza says, I see this, Lassum, Lassum. Lassum, 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 Right, they'll put the, the, the glory underneath the, the, the ashes. And other the ashes go where the glory is. We know Tefillin and other places referred to as glory pair, yeah. right? And therefore, so just like the pair is upon, you know, between the eyes uh, you know, above the hairline, so too, that's where the ashes are placed. Whoever goes ahead and, 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 and mourns upon uh, Jerusalem, he will be Zaycha to see uh, in its uh, happiness. And because the says, then they will rejoice with Shulayim. And Tanya Rabbi Shmuel, then Elisha Miyayim Shechar Beis Hamitash, the day the Beis Hamitash was destroyed. Dinu Shenik Zal Tzmeina. Really, we should have made Exer upon ourselves. Shelo Derecha Basar Elisha Siyam. We shouldn't eat meat. We shouldn't drink wine. Ella Ein Goyzim Gazel Al Tzibur and Kein Rav Tzibur Yechol Lamad. But we can't make a Gazel decree upon the Tzibur unless they can go ahead and foul. Excuse me. Umiyom Shepashta Malchus Harasha. And from the day that the Roman Empire they began to come down upon the Jews. And Shagazeris, Alain and Gazeris Royce, very evil and wicked decrees, vicious and difficult. With Atelas and Torah, and they want to, they, they, they forbid learning Torah. If you learn, you would get killed. But mitzvahs, and also mitzvahs, even you can't go ahead after seven days for for the sun, i.e., a bris milo. Some say the Shuvah Haben, or some, or, or a pigeon Haben. Dinu Shanigzar, Altsmeno, Shalisa Isha, Loy Lubanim, right? Uh, you know, maybe we should have made a decree that, you know, to save people's lives, uh, not to go ahead and get married. But we know if we said a man should stay away from women and not get married, we know they have an answer, Avinu Kalo, male love, and therefore they would, instead of being killed, they would, you know, die on their own by not, you know, having families. Ella, Israel, Mutov, rather, don't go ahead and uh, uh, make this decree because uh, Mutashi value Mazeda, because. Uh, you know, if they go ahead and they do it, they will just go against that decree, and therefore they don't make a decree not to go ahead and marry. And therefore, it's better uh, not to say shugging value bezidim and hajin lach cheskos avatim. So Mazel Tov, I'm finishing the third parak of Mesechus Bavavatzka. We are now on to the fourth parak or the twenty. Oh well, yeah, that was, was, no, you get the daf now. You got another daf now. All right, now, oh, good question. There's still another end, so you can't ask the end until the real end. Mm-hmm. Right. So we say over here. Um, all right, so now we're beginning. I guess the twenty fourth parak of Masechus Baba. Right? This is all really one long Masechus, yeah. right? So each one is ten productive. Fine, fourth parak. Hamayichir es habayis top of samach aleph or aleph. A person goes ahead and sells his house. He has not sold along with it the uh, right word. The, the annex. The, the, the we'll soon see what, what type of addition is, what type of structure this is. The mochitzia. The gemara will start with the machloekas. That is not sold with it. That's on its own. The alpha bishahib sucha lesecha. Even if it's open into it. It's not included in the sale unless it was written exclusively to be included in the sale. Not the storehouse that was inside the house, a menu that was within it. Right, well, the storehouse is not included in the sale unless it was specifically included. Gog, and not also the roof. Uh, right, mm-hmm. and not the roof when it has a maka fence around it, at least ten tefachim. So it's not included in the space. Mm-hmm. No, if the guy has a source of Pesach, like an entranceway, a doorway to enter there, even if it does have a, uh, a maka around it, if you, excuse me, if it does not have a maka around it, right? Then at last, it is not sold because since there's a source of Pesach, it's considered to be chashuv on its own. And it would be not included in a case of Meicher as Habayus. Fine. Let's see what's going on. Ma yitzia zok to gemara ma yitzia. So hacha so so hacha tagiva. So over here he explains it. 
uh, after, right? This is an after, right? Uh, and what is that? That is like um, sort of like an exterior room, but it's enclosed. It's like a, 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 a regular room, but it's like a, like almost like a sunroom, right? A sunroom off the, uh, has a tight shit in here, an attached chamber. But it's like a like almost like a, a room, right? There's a low enclosed structure adjacent to the house or back of a house. Like almost like you know, they have like a side den or something and there. And and Rav Yosef Omar, so and Rav Yosef uh, says is now bidka uh, chalila. It's almost like a this page says a, a veranda, but it's like a, almost like a sunroom, also used for lounging, but like lots of windows and open air. So that's what he says. These are the machloikas of what structures are next to the house. But are not included in the sale. So Laman Damar, after the one who says it's an after, let me stop the one is sold and ours is basically built like the house was a little smaller and a culture game. Vatka so uh bitka khalila. So certainly the sun was that because that's less like the house. However, however, Laman Dama uh Bitka Khalib, but the one who says no, the sunroom is not included. Aval uh, after Ms. Davina, but something let's say like a lower structure, but similar to the house, that perhaps would be included. And Tanya Rav Yosef and Rav Yosef Tash, Shaloish Shemos Yeshlo. It has three names. An annex has basically three names. These are types like a, a, a loosely types as, as an annex is the Yitzia, Sela, and Ta. Right? These three, uh, th these are three names that are, are, are brought in Tanakh, uh, reference to like a, a space, like an open space. So Yitzia, the Siv, Yitzia, Tachtoina, Chamish, Biama. Rachva. So it says over there. So now, um, so the way that by the base of it was built, there was the the wall for the um, the heichal that goes around it. So you need it to be a little wider on the bottom than a top, right? So that mm -hmm. hey, was a little bit wider. <laughs> and there was a wall behind it. So those were like these little areas like an annex, right? These little areas that were between walls of the Heichal and the outer walls of these uh, annex. Uh, right. Some sort of space. So therefore, on the bottom, it was, remember, the wall, let's say this is the Heichal over here, and this is the outer wall. So it would be straight here, but the wall at the bottom would be wider, and then it would be, it would be a little narrower and a little narrower. So the cells over here on the other side, automatically, if this is wider, that means the space over here, but the outer wall was straight, that would be a little, you know, a little narrower, a little bigger, and a little bigger. So it started, as the bottom of the sea is, you know, five amos, and this was six amos, and then seven amos, right? And they had floors there, so they put a beam across, and they used those spaces. So it was like, you know, the stack of three floors, right, of like offices or storage areas or, or cells they can use. So over there... So, um, so it says, that was five amos. Rachva was his width. Tzela, and Tzela was also a reference to Anna. The Tzela says, but Tzela is Tzela, al Tzela, Shalosh, Shalosh, and Pami. There were 33 because there were five on one side, five on the other, and one in the back. So that would be 11. And there were three stacks, so therefore there'd be 33. And Tadach Siv, Right, it was one kind of on one side and on the other, and between the the time, right, which is annex, was chamesh shamas. Now, or if he boys, I another puzzle. Mehacha says over there, right, the the, the wall of the hekal was six. Vatal sheish, and then the uh, the 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 ta, right, this annex was, was six. Kaisal ata chamesh. And the uh, and, and 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 then that was uh, and the wall of the of cell was also five amos. It was the wall was six thick, space was six, and then this the wall itself was five. <laughs> and Amar Marzutra, the who? Now let's go back to our mission. So that was just a side point. Now Amar Marzutra, the who? And that which we said these annexes are not included. How the have the amos? That's only if they're amos. If they're more than four by four amos, they're chashiv. They're they're not included this in the sale unless they were specifically listed in the sale. Some later in the Marzucha, I the Dinko de Marta the Havi Arba Ama is, but according to you, so it has to be four Amas to be included. Sell me out, Gabi Bor, but it says they're by a pit, and it's not, and we're going to Nishna, Lois a Bor, the Lois a Deuce, and over there it says, if there a person goes out and he sells a house, so he is not, but he did not specifically write. And it's not included, let's say, the uh, the a pit or a cistern are not included in the sale of the house. 
Uh, and, and over there, even if you read, from the, you know, from the depths to the heights, those things are not included. Now, so how can I have the Arab Amos in? So to over here, you're saying that they're not included only if they're not Dal Amos and Elo Lo. But if not, if they're four Amos, then they, they're not included. But if they're less than Dal Amos, they are included. Right. And it's very uncommon for pits and cisterns to be that large. So it doesn't make sense if that's the case of the mission. It should be. It's not just Dal Amos. It's not included. It should be always never included. So there's no hockey hash. There's a there's a difference there. Over there, the house is used for living, and the pits are used for getting water. However, over here, they really the same usage. Sitting, living, lounging, those are the same usages, just like the body, so to these addicts. And therefore, if it was for Amos, it's Chashev on its own, it's not included. But if it's not, it's not a Chashev, and since it has the same use, it would be included with the house. Fine. Because it's it's for living, it should be included with the house. It doesn't have a but, se- it doesn't have a separate. But since it's, it's chashiv, it's is defined by the size. I understand. Right, but but since it's chashiv, it's considered to be independent. The chashivus makes it independent. That's what, that's what you want to say. Distinction because that right. those things have a different a different usage. So therefore, you can't compare it to. But over there, it has to do with now whether it's significant or not. So and not also the storehouse is even within the walls. Mars is hashly it's seal and now that the Yitzia is not sold, which has the same usage. And I'm buying your house to go ahead and live in. And even though these rooms are used to live in, it's not included. So boy, so a storeroom which is not uh used for living is an obvious that it's not uh included. So Mars is not like Sikha, the Afa Gav the Maitala Mitsun Abroy. Maybe even the case like this, the guy gave him the dimensions of the house. And he says, oh, the entire, the, the entire perimeter of the house. Okay. Right? And so what was within the entire perimeter of the storehouse? So even though he said the entire perimeter of the house, the storehouse is still not included. One who says a house to his friend, the Bira. So let's say one has, he's a condo structure. He's a big building, large building. He's the Royalton. And he's selling in one of the units, unit uh, unit uh, 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 2B. So, even though he gives him the, the dimensions to the entire building, uh, he just uh, basically gave him the general, uh, uh, the, what's it called? He gave him the, the general uh, 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 dimensions, but he was not specific. And I was the only sold him, he was exaggerating. He only sold him the apartment, not the entire building. So Mar says, wait, pause. What, what's going on? Why is that the case? Hey, Kidami, Elam the Karala Ila Bias, Bias, Libira Bira. If I said I'm selling you a bias, right? And know it's a an apartment unit, right? And there's a building. So we know we have two different terms, a building and a unit. And I say I'm selling you a unit, and I give you the dimensions of the building, but I said I'm selling you a unit, Pshita. By Zabadle, right? It's obvious that I was exaggerating in terms of dimensions because I said I'm selling you a unit. I didn't say I'm selling you the building. L, the Birnami Karale, the Bayes. But if a, a, a let's say, a, a, a apparent building is also called a unit, right? So Kula Zabadle. And so I say, I'm calling you, I'm selling you a unit. And it's also the entire building could be called a unit. And I give you the dimensions of, a, of, of the entire building. Certainly, I'm selling you the building. So Zavin Lay certainly cool is Zavin Lay. So Gemara says no. Let's speak the Ruba Karalei the Bais. Most people call the house a house or a unit, right? The Bais Bais and the Bira Bira. They call Bira Bira. However, Ekanami the Bira Karalei Bais. Some people call an apartment building also a unit. Mao Zim, what would you said? Kuli Zavin Lay. Maybe you say that over there. Maybe he's referring to that he's t- selling the entire thing. Kamash Malon. That no, since normal people use referred to as a unit even though i gave you the wrong description i i gave you a larger more generous description i'm only selling you a unit so too in our case right we'll say that even though i say i'm selling you a house i didn't say i'm selling you a house and a storage house therefore even when i say i'm selling you a house and i give the dimensions which includes a storehouse doesn't make a difference i'm just being generous with my dimensions just like Rav Nachman taught. Right? By the fact that he could wrote, I'm not leaving myself anything, but he did the Loikasev, and he didn't write that, so obviously he's leaving himself something, i.e. the other units, or in our case, the storehouse. It must be that he's not selling everything, he's leaving some stuff out. 
And the Amar Av Nachan Amar Av Ua, very similar case. Amar Chasson LeChaveira, person's going ahead and selling him one field from the Bika Gedola, from a very large field. I don't know uh, uh, what's the better word to use it for, right? And yeah, he has acres, and he's selling him one plot. That's what it is, right? He has a very very large field, and he's selling him one plot from the field. All right, a plot from the field. Field is the entire area. The guy owns 10 acres and he's selling him one acre, uh, one plot. Right? Right? Even though I gave him, when I said I'm selling you a plot and I give you the dimensions of my entire 10 acres, but I was just being generous, telling you the general boundaries, but not specific. You're not getting the entire field, you're just getting that one plot. Make it look a little nicer, though. Right. So, Gomorrah says, Hey, Chidami, once again, same, uh, uh, lush, uh, uh, same uh, case of the Gomorrah. Hey, he's, Chidami. He's adding the words, Babika Gadola, to make it seem like... No, 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 no. He's not adding those words. He's selling him a in a large field. Right? Babika Gadola. Right? No, that, that, that's the case. In other words, he's selling a field so to his friend from a Bika Gadola, from a larger... Field. So he's selling one plot from a large field. Large. And even though when he gave him the coordinates or whatever it was, he gave them, you know, from this road to that road, he gave him basically the, the dimensions of the entire field, not just this plot, the entire field. So and that's in the contract. Nevertheless, he, those weren't specific. He was just generalizing where the field was, but he wasn't being specific oh, to the plots. He's only selling in the plots, not the entire field. Just like last time, he was only selling in one apartment unit of the mm -hmm. entire building. So Gloria wants to know the situation. Hey, Kidami. If there's two different calls, thing one's called a plot. A plot is a plot, and a field is a field. And he says, "I'm selling you a plot." So it's obvious he's only selling him the plot and not selling the entire field. The Ella, what are you going to say? Maybe they also call a field also a, a, a plot, right? So cool is up like then he's saying, "I'm selling you a plot," and I gave you the dimensions to the entire. Thing which is also called a plot, certainly you'd sell them the whole thing. So, when it says, No, really, we're talking about the most people call this sade, call it a sade, right? They call it a plot, and the bika in a large field, they call it a bika. The economy also they call it the bika car, they sade. Some actually people also call a large field, they also call it a plot. So, Mount Tame, what just said, Kule Sabin, Lea, you said, Maybe so you all use the term bika, they were referring to a van. To what? Uh, right, because I mean, a larger field, it can be uh, like a prairie or something like that. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, so, so, what is that? Like, cool is that? Like, Hamash Malah, that he's only selling on that. And other since that's the, the general people refer to the pods a lot. Hamash Malah, I mean, the Havile, the Miftah, because he should have wrote in there, Loi Sharis, Bizvini, Elan Kadmi, Klum. I'm not leaving myself anything. In other words, that would be the indication that he's selling him the entire large field. And he didn't write that in. Shmamina, it must be that Shuri Shari, and he must be that he's leaving himself land for himself, i.e., he's only selling on the plot and not the larger field. So why do you why did Abnachman need to teach both cases? The case of the, the unit, the apartment unit in an apartment building that he's only selling a unit, and the case of a smaller plot to the larger field. Why two cases? Srika. If we only had the case of the apartment with the house, Mishum, the Hatash Mish, the Khud, Vatash Mish the Khud. Each use is different, right? You live in an apartment unit, and the other ones are separate units for people to live in. But over there, but in the case of the field, is y'all just plowed all together, right? You sew it all together. Maybe I would have thought that he taught in there. But yes, and then Bika, and if I only, he only taught this halacha in the case of Mishum Deloy Havile, the Mimsele, because he shouldn't have gone ahead and given really any of his coordinates. Of a bias, but a house, the hobby that meets their lay, but now it's by the field. No one really knows the specifics of the field. So if I give the specifics of the field, you wouldn't know that. But the house, uh, that I can, or the unit, I could have gone ahead and give you specifics of where the unit is. Of a bias, the that meets their lay, for I made I didn't give you specific coordinates of the unit. Maybe I think you saw the whole thing. Therefore, it's three. Therefore, we need both these cases. And come on, Ozla Hod to Omar of Mari. About uh, what's this place here? Um, Barah, right? So it says, and uh, who's this? The Ramari Barah 
right? The son of the daughter of Shmuel, Bar Shiles, right? So it says, Mishmei Dabai, in the name of Vayas. So, hi, man. So, who's this? Hi, man. The man, the Zvini Lei Mide, the Chari, person selling something to his friend, said, the Mishmei Lei, like, she raised Bizvini Elin Kadme Klu, right? I'm not leaving anything for myself. In other words, when you go ahead and you sell, you should use that term. So, who, which Amora does that go? Well, so come on, that'll be Krav Nacha Amor That was like what we just learned by Krav Nacha Amor Ravua. So he said, when he's selling him something, he, we assume the guy is not selling him everything. He's leaving stuff back unless he specifically writes, I am leaving nothing for myself. And how would do? Amalei Lechavre, a person once said to his friend, Arad de Bechia, Mazinu Lecha, I'm going to go ahead and sell you, the, yeah, I guess he owned land he bought from, uh, from de Bechia. So he says, I'm going to sell you my de Bechia land. So have you laid Tarti Arasa? I, he had actually two lands that were called the Havi Miskari de Bechia. They were called, uh, you know, the House of Chia lands. So I'm going to ask you, Chad Omar Le Tarti Lo Omar Le. He only said one. He said, Ara. Right, he said one land, so therefore he's only selling you one land, not both lands. And by the way, we'll give you the the, the small land because I'm much more of a right. Via Malay Arasa, but if he says the lands, Stama, right? So Mia Arasa Stein. But if he says I'm selling you the lands of Rebbe so therefore the minimum of lands is two, is plural. And therefore, if there's two lands, he's selling you both. Via Malay Kolarasa. If he says I'm selling you all the lands, Kolarasa the East Lay Labar Me Bustani You Parisi. Then basically he's selling all his lands except for like orchards or vineyards. Those would not be included. Those are not really generally referred to as lands. Via Malay Zero. So he says, but if they sell you all my zero, right, which is a word for basically anything that grows over there, Afilu Be Bustani You Parisi. Even the gardens and the vineyards. Those are all included in that. Labarmi bati viad, except for houses and his avadim. However, be omar le, but he says, I'm selling you nixe, all my possessions, then afilu bati viad. Even houses and avadim would be included in that sale. All right, we'll stop here. Tomorrow looks like a, a fun uh, block. Over last, yeah. line. Uh, last line says, if you're selling somebody, we, we always assume.